How's it going everyone and welcome back to Battlegrounds Game Center. I'm Patrick and today we're doing some more painting. We're going to be painting a new Skaven Brood Terror. I really like this model. I thought it looked really cool. I'm really big into horror or body horror and this just really was something I thought would be really cool to, to do with you on camera. Um, since we're, you know, heading into spooky season, so let's do a spooky model. I, um, this is my second time doing a kind of painting video, so we'll see how this goes and hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you want to see more like it, go ahead and like and subscribe to the channel. Let me know in the comments below if this is something you want to see more of. I'll kind of just go over my process. So we primed it with uh, Beastly Brown from Vallejo, and then I did a, a Xenophall with uh, Wraithbone from Citadel. So that we have like a little bit of browns in there, but then you got the highlights, so... We're going to be using a lot of contrast of this so that it'll kind of poke through. But yeah, let's go ahead and get right into this because I'm really excited to paint it. All right, so the very first step we're going to be doing is um, going over all the skin and fur and stuff with some Gilliman Flesh contrast. Uh, just kind of caking the model in it. And then we'll go over with some other colors after that. But just to get it started, we want to get it fully covered. All the areas we want Gilliman Flesh. So since it has like grafted flesh all over the place, I might do a little bit uh, with this and then the other areas I might go over with something else. But the bulk of it is going to be this Gilliman. I'm going to avoid the horn because we're going to do that in a different color here. And we are gonna go over the fur with like a darker brown, so it's okay if it gets covered in the Gilliman for now. Yeah, this model is pretty cool. I thought it was interesting that of all the new kits, this one was push fit, which was very interesting to me that they would do that. Um, but it went together relatively well. There was a few issues here and there. So yeah, we'll just kind of cake this all over the bulk of the, the model here. And we have another fleshy tone we'll get in there as well once we're done with this. Next, I think I'm gonna take some Crusader skin from Army Painter, uh, some speed paints, a little bit of a different color. I just want it very fleshy looking. So yeah, there's like a giant um, engine in his back. And we'll go over this guy with that as well. So this thing is absolutely terrifying. It's so cool. I think going over with a dry brush on top of this later will look really good too. Similar in color, but different enough. I might dry brush with like like a little pink over it or something like that to make it look like more exposed muscle. Might do the tail in this lighter color. Because then we will go back over this with a little bit of like pink, I think. Like a, like a watered down pink. So next we could do the horn with some skeleton horde for that bone look. Probably go back over them with white, but for now, I might just do this. And then we got the rags, which for the rags, I'm gonna do a plague bearer flesh. Okay, so we got this disgusting green to put on the cloth. It's like he might be a big model, but it's relatively simple to paint. I'm trying to find, figure out the best way to show what I'm doing while I'm painting uh, with the camera setup that I have. Um, and it'll probably evolve over time, but for the first few videos of doing this, this is kind of where I'm at. And if you guys enjoy this, and again, if you want to see more like it, please go ahead and comment, let me know, like the, the video, share it around, uh, subscribe to the channel. Uh, we're almost to a thousand subscribers, and I would like to get there by the end of the year um, to help really grow this channel. We are going to be moving soon. We're going to have a full studio to start cranking out more videos. Um, so the more subscribers I have, you know, the more motivation uh, we have to really do great stuff for you. 
Uh, we'll have some more battle reports coming up, hopefully soon. They take a little bit to put together. Um, but in the, in the interim, I wanted to do some small videos like this, you know, continue to do unboxings, showing off games, how to plays, uh, and paint videos. Okay, so I think that's pretty much the only part of green that I'm really gonna have to do. I actually discovered uh, one way I like doing cloth now is, where are you, Mortarian Grime? Just on like a base prime, like a white prime or, a, you know, a lighter primer. It makes a really good cloth look. I really enjoy it. So we'll go ahead and do some cloth here. So yeah, we'll do the light color here first and then we can always go back over, you know, go back over if we need to, but yeah, cause they're like stitched piping. So it wouldn't be metallic, I don't think. So I got basilcanum or basilcanum gray. <laughs> I don't even know if that's how you say that, but oh well. Some of these names are kind of insane. <laughs> so gray, I'm gonna do some gray onto the pipes. So specifically the tubes, not the uh, metallic pipes. So the tubes, we're gonna do this gray. There's like little staples on this too that I might go back and try to do with like lead belcher. We'll see. There's a lot of little detail that's not necessary, but to add like a little bit of a finishing touch wouldn't be a bad idea. Got a few more pipes, but this looks a little bit more metallic. So we'll probably go with like a brass look on that, but for like the, the tubes, the gray I think works. So we got some lead belcher now we can do some of the different parts of this model. Um, I am gonna go over these with a dry brush of brass, I think, to change it up. But for now, we'll just do basic lead belcher on a lot of this. A lot of internal pipes here are a little hard to get. So it might be hard to see on camera what I'm doing, but I'm gonna skip ahead around on this anyways. This part's a little, rough to get into all right so we got those bits there got this ball here very cool all right it's a good base coat of everything we got more to do um but yeah that's getting close to done all right i think at this point i can start going back and doing some of the fur over top of things. So for that, we're gonna be using Gore Grunta fur. I'm gonna start here, kind of start. Top of this. But we're just gonna go over all the different areas that are fur. But yeah, helps break it up a little bit. So we got some brown fur over the body there. It kind of spreads with some of the areas, it's fine. I'll spread it out a little bit. Kind of just wet blend some things here to uh, transitioning into the different color as much as I can. Kind of just took over the skin a little bit more, but it's okay. Because once I dry brush, that'll bring out the, the actual fur, hopefully. Some pink. Just like very watered down pink. Use this for the tail. We're gonna kind of do the same thing with the pink onto this guy. So it's a little bit more fleshy. Not a whole lot, but enough to show there's some separation. Get some pink on some of the other areas. So I think from this point, uh, I just need to fix a few areas on lead, with the lead belcher, uh, but I think we can start moving on to some dry brushing uh, once this fully dries. So yeah, let's get into that. Okay, so sorry for the camera change up. Um, 
after looking back at this a little bit, my right hand was covering up the mod a little too much, so I swapped the cameras around, so sorry if that's a little bit jarring. But this is pretty much dry now, so we're going to start doing some dry brushing. Uh, we're probably going to start with the brass on the lead belcher here, or the copper, brass, whatever I decide to do. Rough iron. I got rough iron. I got true, true copper. Probably do true copper. Get as much off the brush as I can, but leaving a little. Okay, so then we're going to just start going over the entirety of the lead belcher. Try to avoid other areas, like some of the, the skin and stuff, but the dry brushing, sometimes it just ends up getting over everything. Try to pick it out where I can. So this is a little heavy on the here. I'm okay with that because I'm kind of trying to cover up the lead belcher a little bit more. But just in a way that looks a little bit more natural. Kind of get some of the harder to reach areas here. So for the skin, or even the fur really, we'll do, we're gonna do something a little bit lighter brown. So I got Morphang Brown here. It's always a good go-to for this. Let's get my brush nice and coated. And we're gonna do this specifically on the uh, fur and stuff, so. Very light, just kind of brushing it over. So we got still the fleshy bits, still kind of poke out a little bit, which is good. So for that, the more fleshy looking part, I think a little bit of flesh tear is red. Contrast actually, kind of mix it with the brown a little bit. And see what I want to see what that might do. I want to put all the red. I just kind of want to do like spots to make it look a little bit more like skin. I kind of like that. It's an interesting skin look. All right, so we're looking pretty good here. Uh, we just got some more details we got to do. I want to add some green, some warp fire green into like the weapons and uh, some of the areas where the tubes are kind of breaking through a little bit. Um, so we'll do that. And then I also want to do some blood for the blood god on different parts of the model. And then also go over pretty much everything, or at least the metallics with Martarian Grime. So that's something I want to do as well. So let's go ahead and do the green first here. So I have Warpstone Glow. So for this, it's going to be for this uh, smoke that's coming out. Kind of get green coming out of the different holes here, vent holes. So then we also got this part here with the gun. want like the green glowing through it. Another way I could have done this is done white and then the green, but we're just gonna do green. I'm gonna do a little bit of green on these tubes. Looks like it's kind of like breaking through the tube a little bit. And then I think this part right here is actually a warp stone. So we're just gonna paint it green. Like this is what's powering the machine. And then I think for the eyes, so I already did some white pinpoints on the eyes, but I think I'm gonna make the eyes green. Considering he's like a, you know, he's being powered by this energy. Makes sense for him to have like greenish eyes. All right, so now we're gonna go back to lead belcher and we're gonna go and do some of the staples. At this point, 
Uh, we're just going to go over the metallics with Martarian Grime. And, I, and then we'll do some Blood for the Blood God. And I think for the most part we'll be done. And if I get over the body and stuff too, it's totally fine. Because it's going to be grimy. This will just kind of dirty up the metal even more. And get into the recesses, of course. So a little bit more of a greenish brown shade instead of just like straight brown or, or like an oily black. So I think while we're waiting for the rest of this to dry, we'll start working on the base and get uh, that down. Uh, because then the last process I'm gonna do is adding some blood to some of the different areas. All right, so for the face, I'm gonna use uh, Martian Iron Crust, Technical Iron Martian Crust from Citadel. I uh, wanted to do red bases with these guys. I used to just paint the bases and then do other stuff, but I've gotten lazy and <laughs> just started doing technical. And then um, I like to either go over with some like rocks in some areas or uh, little plants here and there. I'd, um, today we're just gonna go ahead and add the crust, but um, I might do some more to the base in the future. But for the time being, this is what we're gonna do. So that is all the basing done, all the dry brushing. So next we're gonna add a little bit of Blood for the Blood God to give it some character. Got the brush here, a little bit on the weapon here, just a tiny bit. Just some nice dried looking blood. Doesn't have to be, it can be messy. So and then I also wanna add a little bit of blood like on some of the connection points here for the model. Kind of using my thumb to take it off a little bit. Any fingers to kind of just make sure it's not super heavy. So I think we can call this done for now. Um, I gotta do the, the base rim and probably add a little bit more to the base in the future. But for right now, I'm just gonna call this done. If you guys enjoyed this video and want to see more content like it, please go ahead and like and subscribe to the channel. Really appreciate it. And if you would like to see more painting videos, let me know in the comments. Uh, this is only my second one I've done, and I plan on doing maybe more if, you, um, if it's something you guys enjoy. Uh, once we get to the new studio, I'll have a bit, little bit of a different setup and may, make this look a little better. Uh, right now, I'm still trying to test the waters and see what works. But yeah, thank you guys again for taking the time. And until next time, I'm Patrick at Battlegrounds Game Center. See you later.